We'll soon begin to see the spacecraft flying free away from the arm. Station 10 has exited the lead. Go for back away. Cygnus was successfully released from the International Space Station's robotic arm at 557. 557 a.m. Central, 657 a.m. Eastern. Back away in progress. At the time of release, Space Station was flying over the Atlantic Ocean west of Africa. Houston Station, SSRMS to vehicle clearance, approximately 1.5 meters. Houston copies. Station saying vehicle clearance approximately 4.5 meters. Houston copies. You're looking at a close-up view now from the International Space Station's robotic arm, and you just heard Nicole Ayers on board Space Station confirm that Cygnus is 4.5 meters away from the robotic arm. Station Houston on two, back away complete. Station copies. You just heard that call for back away complete, and we are standing by for the departure burn, the four-minute departure burn that will place the spacecraft on a 24-hour safe trajectory away from the International Space Station. Sensation, Cygnus depart commanded. Cygnus departure burn is in progress. Monitor departure burn, step five and one decimal six zero two. Pre step five of one decimal six zero two.
departure burn is underway and will last a little over four minutes to begin moving the spacecraft further away from the space station, which is currently a little over 18 meters away. There's a little over two minutes left in the burn, and the international and the Cygnus spacecraft, sorry, is about to exit the keepout sphere. There's about one minute left in the departure burn. Station used on space or ground two, Cygnus departure burn complete. Perform step six in one decimal six zero two. And station copies and step six is complete of one decimal six zero two. Houston copies. Station Houston on Space Ground 2, Cygnus has exited the 200 meter keep out sphere. Station copy, Cygnus is outside the keep out sphere. And you just heard the call that shortly after the departure burn completed, Cygnus exited the keep out sphere. The departure burn was successful, and the Cygnus spacecraft has now exited the International Space Station's keepout sphere.
Station Houston 2 for Cygnus. We are complete with our ops for needed from you. Uh, you can keep monitoring the camera views as desired. We'll give you a call in about 12 minutes once Cygnus has exited the approach list. Station copies off. If you're just joining us, Cygnus has exited the 200-meter keep-out sphere. It's safely separated from the robotic arm of the space station and re was released at 5.57 a.m. Central, 6.57 a.m. Eastern. After Cygnus was released at 5.57 a.m. Central, it then completed a successful departure burn that, approximately, that lasted approximately four minutes. It then crossed the 200-meter keep-out sphere, and we are now standing by waiting for it to cross the approach ellipsoid. There's a graphic on your screen here of a representation of the keep out sphere and the approach ellipsoid. We're about nine minutes away, 10 minutes away, excuse me, from the approach ellipsoid exit. The keep out sphere, which you see here, is the first invisible boundary. It's 200 meters away from the station that serves as a safety marker surrounding the station. Cygnus is currently past the keep out sphere and it's en route to exit the approach ellipsoid. The approach ellipsoid is another invisible marker a little farther out from the International Space Station. After the vehicle crosses the approach ellipsoid, joint operations will end and will wrap up coverage and responsibility of the vehicle is handed back to Northrop Grumman. Following a deorbit engine firing later this evening, Cygnus will begin a planned re-entry in which the spacecraft will safely and harmlessly burn up in the Earth's atmosphere.
We're about eight minutes away from the approach ellipsoid exit, and a unique capability with Cygnus is its trash disposal. While the astronauts aboard the International Space Station unloaded the 8,200 pounds that Cygnus delivered back in August, since then the crew has packed Cygnus again with trash and other unwanted items over the past seven and a half months it's been on station.